solar powered ecosystems. Aquatic communities, like almost all natural systems, run on sunlight. Plants and algae capture the sun's energy. Then, by the process of photosynthesis, plants and algae use energy from the sunlight to make food and oxygen for themselves out of basic environmental resources like carbon dioxide, minerals, and water. Plants and algae are called producers because they produce their own food. Unlike plants, animals can't make their own food. To survive, they must eat other living things. Animals that eat plants are called primary consumers or herbivores. A pond snail is a primary consumer because it eats algae and other aquatic plants. Secondary consumers eat primary consumers. Bluegills are secondary consumers. They eat insects, crustaceans, and small fish. Secondary consumers can be carnivores or omnivores. Carnivores eat other animals. Omnivores eat both plants and animals. Parasites, such as leeches, get their energy directly from feeding off other living organisms, but they usually don't kill the organism in the process. Scavengers, such as crayfish, eat the organic material of dead plants and animals. Decomposers, such as bacteria and fungi, also feed on non-living organic matter. We often call this detritus. In the process, they break it down into simple molecules that plants can use. Scavengers and decomposers play a vital role in recycling the energy and materials from the flesh of dead organisms directly back into the ecosystem for producers and other consumers to use.